welcome to the Black Friday sale. With up to 80% off for one day only. Now let's join the Open Shop team live in the studio. Welcome to the kitchen. Jared and I are going to be cooking up, or rather chopping up a storm up with a storm. this incredible deal we are bringing you here today because it is Black Friday. Black Friday. And because it's Black Friday, Jaren, we have got the best deal that we've ever done. And we've done this, this Viva Giza knife, maybe three times now. And when I say three times now, mm -hmm. the price has never been at the price we are doing it today, nor should it be, because this is incredible. This is a one-stop shop knife. It is the knife that's going to chop absolutely everything in such an incredible way and we're going to tell you why. We're going to explain the technology built in and we're also going to show you we've got loads of demos, right? Got heaps of demos heaps today. Heaps of demos and the, the, the proof is in the pudding, right? When you see what this can do from a lady, from a fella, you don't need to use your elbow grease anymore. The technology is going to do it for you. Let me give you the details. 300147. Ladies and gents, you are not only getting this famous Japanese knife, but you are getting the famous Japanese peeler, which is a three-in-one peeler, I've got to say. And it's made with the same surgical grade stainless steel. The stainless steel, Jaron, is known as molybdenum Valladium steel. Gee, that just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, <Yes>. I practiced. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the, um, it's the same stain um, stainless steel, well, the same medical grade steel that doctors use in, 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 uh, with their scalpels. So, Absolutely. You know, if, if, you know, it's the sharpest knife yep. in the surgical room. You know, it cuts through. It's know, the same. It's the same as what they're using, as you said, in surgery. So this is yeah. not stainless steel like your sink or stainless steel like your mixing bowl. This is a cut above. This is a product that should be around 180 bucks, okay? Yeah, We're talking 700 years of Japanese what? heritage in the samurai sword. This is gonna be your go-to knife. You only need one knife that can do everything and you wait until you see what the peeler can do as well. You're mm. gonna, you, have you used a peeler yet? Yeah, I did actually. Did? I had a chance to take it home and try it for myself and I was blown away. Like this, it just went. Like I was just, I was almost like I was just dealing a deck of cards. So yes. It was just like that, just yeah. carving through. It was like, you're carving, like you're going through butter. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Butter, water, it's that easy. Right, well, we're going to give you a chance to get onto the phones right now because this may not last. Let us tell you or let us show you a little bit about the history of this little baby here, the Viva Giza knife. Japan is the land of long traditions where hundreds of years of accumulated knowledge and experience are passed down from master to apprentice, from teacher to pupil. Japanese chef knives are fashioned by technique that were originally developed for making samurai swords over 800 years ago. The Japanese are famous for making the very best knives in the world. Japanese knives draw from tradition, technology, and an intergenerational know-how of how to manipulate the finest steel. Thinner, harder and sharper are the most important trio of attributes for an excellent kitchen knife. Introducing Viva's new Giza knife. Using 800 years of history and the latest technology, the Giza blade showcases a flat edge on one side of the blade with a saw-like blade on the other. This, coupled with the thick ergonomic handle, gives you a completely different experience to chopping, dicing and slicing in your kitchen without using any pressure at all. People may think cooking is not enjoyable when in fact, it's simply the knife you're using that can change the whole kitchen experience. Using the Giza knife, cooking is so enjoyable. You don't need a set of seven knives. The Beaver is able to do everything that comes in a full knife block set with just the one blade. Slicing becomes a breeze. Look at the difference in the new Giza knife compared to a traditional knife. Look at how the bread stays intact. Potatoes and root vegetables are chopped quicker and faster. Meat is sliced to perfection without tearing. Cutting and deboning a chicken is now done with ease. It's the Japanese blade that makes every single chopping, slicing and dicing an enjoyable experience. Every fruit and vegetable is cut with ease, no pressure on the wrist. There is nothing this knife can't cut through. Viva Giza Knives, 800 years of Japanese history with the latest technology in your kitchen. And you just saw it there, the 
absolute ease of use and it's all the way down to you know the the, the years and years and years of R&D that have been put into making this precision cutting Japanese are known for their knives for their swords and you know for their passion in the kitchen they do those crazy Japanese knife shows right yep. where they're throwing things around and they're like a samurai sword and they're chopping and prepping we're not going to be doing that here today but what we will do is show you how the precision of this sharpness. Now, Jaron, you know yourself, there are those teeth there. Yes, I was going to make note of that. As well as being the blade on the back. Ladies and, and gents, you're going to have to be quick. These are already on the move, I'm hearing from our producer. Now, Jaron, a lot of people have said to me, Gabs, I'm nervous about using it because it is so, so, so sharp. I've seen it. You need to know, you must need to know, if your knife is not super sharp, sharp it is dangerous potentially it will become slippery yes. you need this precision sharpness because what happens is as it cuts it grips and then look at that straight through oh, corn on the wow. cob see just if you can do it through. Sharon see if you can give that a go give it a go what do you All reckon right. so you just yeah that same motion again yeah now you're and not using your wrist mm. so if you suffer from arthritis if you don't have a strong wrist a strong arm if you've got you know fingers that you're not feeling like you get all the grip of a normal knife. Yeah. The handle is ergonomic. So it is that pistol grip. You get to hold it and it's the movement of that blade rather than a sawing action or most people have to do a rocking action with general knives. This yeah. is different. Very, very different. So we grip it with the handle like that. We hold something. This normally requires a saw like something from the, the garage. Well, yeah, that big. And it's spiky as anything. So I'm holding it with this little pot holder here. Now I'll wait until you see this. Ready? We are through oh, in one clean ease. swoop. Absolute ease. Absolute. You cut, do you want to give that a go? You haven't cut a pineapple yet, have you? No. There no. we go. Give that a go. Not with, not with the same knife. No. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're going to jump with the my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having yeah. a little giggle at you. All right. Seriously. Oh, look Seriously. At that. Guys, Would you believe it if you hadn't done it yourself? No, honestly, like, uh, the, like at my in my household, I, I have one special knife. Like I said in the uh, Good Morning Shoppers show mm -hmm. this morning, I had that one special knife. I had to retire it because of due to old age. It, it was just getting. It, 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 it was. It was. It just had gone it to was, God. It's gone. It's gone. But uh, knowing that we have the one knife that can just cut through anything mm -hmm. with absolute ease, mm -hmm. you don't need the whole knife block. Too though. true. You, you know, that, it takes that whole hassle of which knife do I need for this? Uh, do I do I have that knife for for the vegetables? Do I have a knife for the pineapples, the yes. roast, the, the peeler, the bread. The bread is a good know, one. The tomatoes, tomatoes is another one. The, headache. the cutting up the apples for the school lunch boxes. So what we're doing is we're showing you things that you might not necessarily ever cut in your home, but we're showing you the power of the technology, the power of you know not having to use a soaring action or a rocking action by simply just pressing it through. Now these are really firm, over um, really uh, unripened avocados with a seed. So normally you'd kind of go, I think I need a tomahawk. Oh yeah, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't even think of <laughs> no, trying to cut, no, like you wouldn't, wouldn't even think of okay. trying to cut. So I'm going to go straight through that seed and all. Goodness, look at that. This is the power of the Viva Giza. Straight this through. is a knife like no other and as Jaron said, you only need one knife because we can be going from that. Can I have a go? Do you want to do the avocado? Yeah. Here you go, give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Now, if you don't have a sharp knife at home, this, oh, I wouldn't suggest doing this. Oh. I would not suggest... Look at that. Seriously. I know. You, you, you kind of get shocked. I'll tell you what happens after Absolutely. the show. Well, after the last two shows, the crew raced in here and were picking up the left bits over left and pieces, uh, bits and pieces and a knife, having a go and honestly saying, I can't believe it. Yeah. I honestly can't believe it. If you do not have a knife like this, cooking can be a chore. It can be a nightmare. Food prep yeah. can be annoying. It can be dangerous if you're slipping off the pumpkin. Exactly or right. uh, I, I have that same headache when I'm preparing foods at home, Gabby. Like, just knowing that uh, if I'm uh, making a nice stew at home, I, I've gotten through the potatoes, yeah, uh, the carrots. Yeah, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. And then I, once I get to the pumpkin and it's... Or sweet you know, potato. Sweet potato, it becomes a bit of a, 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 bit of a task. Then okay, it, yeah, I'm with you. And I reckon... I reckon I'm not a betting person, but I reckon more than half of Australia is going, uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh, yeah. the pumpkin. It gets you yeah. every single time. Every time. And then you don't bother eating it because it's all too hard. What is now, it? You get a sore wrist. You know, like, so look, and it's also a struggle, a battle. It can be dangerous. It's a chore. If you're not strong enough, it can be almost impossible. Now, mango. Mango. Again, it's not ripe, so it means it's really, really firm and the seed is super hard. You're never going to cut through a mango seed in the real world. We just want to show you the power of the Viva Giza. 
Have look a look at that. Cutting through mango seed. When, Absolutely. When in your world, in your kitchen drawer, do you think that you could get out a knife that would be capable of doing that? Now, yeah. if you've got a fever geezer knife, Jared and I want to hear what yes. you've been doing in your kitchen. Exactly. Guys, if you got any, especially if you've got any photos of you cutting anything, yeah. send us in a photo or send us an email. Just an email. Live at openshop.com.au. Guys, we want to hear from you about the show as well. Uh, it's, even if you have any ideas for us to do on our next... Test this out or test that out. Test it Put out. Put us test, to the test. Put us to the test, guys. And, and tell us how the Viva Giza ha is different to any of the knives that you have in your household right yeah. now. Especially if it's replaced the whole knife set. Because I'm and it can. You this, and it can. This knife can can do it all, really. And you know, knife blocks sets can come to about a you know rough roughly a price off the top of my head about you know five hundred dollars. Absolutely, you know, putting it on the people put it on their wedding gift register, right? Because yes. they're kind of like, I need a really good knife block set, and this is a replacement for all of those knives that may not be doing the job. You don't have to think, is this the bread knife? Yes. Is this the boning knife? Is this the carving knife? It's going to do. Everything exactly, and and and, and Gabby also uh, on that note as well. It, when I had that special knife, that my favourite go-to knife, like I like I wouldn't touch no other knife. But I was looking for that one, even if it was dirty. I was like, okay, it's dirty. I've got to go and clean it, get it ready, That's wipe it. That's a really it. good point because even if you do have a knife block set, you tend to just have that one. But is it as good as the Viva Giza? Come on, put you to the test. Here we go. We're try the try, mango. Try, have you ever cut a mango through the seed before? No, not this size. No, no? So it's, okay. This is there gonna be go. first for me. All right. So there we that. go. Look at that. Absolutely incredible, and it is the precision sharpness of this Japanese technology. It means we're not using your wrist. You're not using the strength of your elbow grease to saw through. It is the sharpness of that molybdenum vanadium, yeah. which means. Medical grade. Super sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Super well, sharp. Medical we're grade. using it in surgeries now. You were talking about the pumpkin before, so I think it's only yes. fitting that you. There we go. You, you do the honors. You do the honors. Okay, give it a chop. Go straight through the middle. Straight through. Straight through the middle. All right. And um, look, this is the world's worst job with a blunt knife. Seriously. I'm telling you. You need skill. You need a you need a, a sweatband on your forehead. You might you might even have to do a bit of a stretch. You know, get <laughs> limber up, limber up a bit, because I know that it's it's it is quite a task. And you know, even for myself, someone who's like you know still a spring, spring chicken. Give it a you know, give it a whirl, your you spring know, chicken. Come on, show it's, us it's what still, you got. It is still quite a task. And again, I make that joke. If the cameraman laughs, it's for, it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. So I must, Mum, I'm going to be a good Listen, comedian one day. I'm just going to say, ladies and gents out there, he is a young, fit, strapping lad. And if he's struggling with a pump. Look I can only imagine what the rest of us are doing, right? Look at that. Give it another go. I don't think oh. you did it. I think you did it too quickly. Cut me a really thin slice because I want to make okay. like maybe a roast pumpkin and feta salad. So I need it cut really thinly. Oh, look oh. at that. You're now, you're now a, a, a champion pumpkin slicer. Well, I don't know don't about show that. Off. Like. It's the knife. <laughs> don't show off. But look, so. I'm going to just show you... If I was to do, say, roasted pumpkin, how quickly it would plate. So I'm going to go through this way, and obviously I'm not oh. going to use the seeds. But I'm going to just chop it up, cut it up. Now, I do prefer skin on. So if you want that super fine um, um, pumpkin, because it's going to cook quicker, a job that would usually that. require, Jeez. well, 10 minutes plus. I'm going to go through two pieces at once and cube it up. It's just super, super easy. We're talking about Japanese heritage, Japanese yes. technology. Oh, that's right. You know, 800 years of being world leaders in knives and all things sharp in the kitchen and, of course, in that samurai sword world. But we're talking about one knife replacing maybe four or five dodgy knives. Four or five. Or the whole set, guys. You, you don't even need the whole set now because you've got one that will cut through anything. And as you've just seen with the, from the pumpkin, the... the, the the uh, pineapple that you're seeing Fibrous. right now. Fibrous. We're talking the about avocado. stones. We're talking about things that you might need a garden saw to get through or a tomahawk to get through or really super delicate. Now, if your knife isn't sharp enough, you can risk bruising things like strawberries, things like mushrooms, things yeah. like herbs. herbs. If you are not sharp enough and you're putting too much pressure, you're going to squish the mm. little herbs and your basil's going to go black yeah. really, really quickly, right? And okay. basil's really expensive. Basil is quite expensive, but the, like on that note as well, like with herbs and, and you know fruit that just bruise quite easily, yeah. cutting a tomato with a blunt, blunt knife is 
it, like it honestly it, it's a pet hate in the uh, kitchen with me like if I, I can't do it I have to sharpen the knife I have to sit there make sure it's nice yes and it, if it's going to go through with ease but as soon as it doesn't starts ripping the tomato with it it tears the skin tears the skin and, and then... it can actually bruise and so what happens with your tomato if the skin's all torn the flesh can actually become a bit pulpy and juicy and almost like it's been bruised or squished it hasn't discolored yet huh. but it's the wrong texture yeah That's it's right. smushy it's all smushy yeah no that, I mean, it doesn't look pretty doesn't you know? look pretty doesn't look pretty okay now things like carving up sunday roast carving up the christmas ham christmas Darren. ham yes this festive season christmas ham, it's christmas a must ham. do you have christmas ham in the, every I, christmas I, I do we do have every christmas, christmas. Ham, and it's I'm not christmas you. without a ham is it so, well that's right and who carves up the ham is it the dad get out of the way dad's going to get the special knife and take the skin back is it is it, is it your yeah, dad you're usually dad dad or yeah. no with me and my brother now we're getting to that point now where we're starting to step up in the kitchen oh. starting to uh uh, oh, come in and uh, yeah, cut up the, the Christmas the, ham. Well, ladies, <laughs> you can take that tradition on now that you have the Viva Giza. You can take on that tradition of carving up the Christmas ham yeah. or the Christmas turkey. Christmas Thanksgiving turkey. Day turkey. It's cutting with an absolute breeze. And so we're talking about that slicing where we've got yeah. precision, razor sharp slicing like a surgical blade so we're not tearing the meat. That's right. You know, leftover meat, Christmas Day, you've Christmas got day, Boxing day. day, leftover turkey. Yep. You don't want torn, shredded meat. You want this beautiful precision, sliced, fine. Look at that. I mean, look at that cut. It is, it's like it's being done on one of those, you know those meat slices they use at the deli? You know yeah, those? yeah, like those little um, meat slices where they just send it through, just going through. Like that's, that. that's like there. So things like it could be that you're doing your tapas plate um, and you might um, have something like, you know, you, all, all of your dried meats and stuff like that, how they have the skin and they often have string on them. You can actually just get through all of that with or without mm. <laughs> skin. <Yeah>. That's it. <laughs> Look at that. That's, that's pretty easy, you know, like there's a lot of, there's not a lot of knives out there that can cut, cut through, you know, your pumpkin, pineapple, uh, avocado and mango with the seed in it as well, as well as a salami stick with that ease. And, and you know what, look, the thing is, if I was using a serrated knife, so if I was kind yeah. of going, which knife, I'm at the knife block, which knife do I use? If you grabbed a serrated or a tooth knife, mm. uh, people, that is going to be torn. Yeah. It's going to look terrible. I can cut this as super fine as I like and Sharon, yeah. You know, you were saying with your tomato, you yeah. like things to look pretty. Well, yeah, well, well that's right. Like, you, you try and make it look pretty. And why? I mean, look, we want it to look pretty because we want to go to the effort, but it does affect the whole taste, don't you reckon? Yeah. Oh, I mean, if it, the doesn't, texture. if it doesn't look, you know, like pretty, like, you know, I think one of the big things, you know, I've been watching Gordon Ramsay a bit in the kitchen. And oh, he's really big, big on he lose his temper oh, sometimes? Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm watching you with this knife, and it's like watching him slice through. Uh, you know, through foods as well. I like can tell you one thing. It's if, just with ease. It if just... you were Gordon Ramsay right now, I would not be using any other knife other than this Viva Giza. The last thing I'd want <laughs> is Gordon Ramsay breathing down my throat, cutting the wrong way, yep. or not cutting sharply, or not cutting finely enough. I can tell you <laughs> that the Viva Giza would get me out of a whole lot of strife if you were Gordon Ramsay. Now, guys, we are just over halfway. Are we halfway? Are we only 15 minutes? Oh my gosh. 15 minutes already. Oh my gosh. This is flying out the door. You know why? It's flying out the door because people are loving it. This is yeah. incredible quality, but the price, right? The price is is is, is amazing. You know, you're not going to get this price again, guys. And you know, and you also got after pay with that as well. Eighty nine dollars. Eighty nine dollars. We're going to send it to you for free. You get free express delivery, and of course, it's a love it or send it back guarantee. So if this doesn't cut the pumpkin the way that you thought it would, if it's mm. not your best knife in the kitchen, send it back. Don't forget, you've also got the smart peeler. We're going to get to the smart peeler as yes. well. Are you impressed with with my I'm, knife cutting I'm skills? I'm really impressed. Like I'm just thinking, you know, this Christmas season, you know, coming into take the holidays, the out. take the stress out, you mm. know, guys, especially. You know, if you are, you know, speaking of gifts in the festive season, you know, this is going to be good great, gift. great gift. Good you know, gift. I'm already thinking, you know, grandma at home, mum, dad. Well, you it's, know, a, it's a special gift, right? Special. Because it's not just like I've got a really nice piece of kitchen equipment. You're going to use it. Yeah. You know, and, and I go to, especially when I go back home and, yeah. and my dad, he's got his little special knife too, but I know that that, that knife has seen better days. You know, it, it, it needs to be thrown away, to be honest. I might have to go home and do a sneaky one and pull a switcheroo with it and, and place in the Viva <laughs> Giza it. knife. Put the, 
And, and you know, it's, 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 it's nothing worse doing food preparation with a blunt knife. It's you just, it ma well, it makes it then a hassle. It makes the whole cooking experience an absolute chore. And look, when you do see chefs on cooking shows, yeah. you think, oh, that looks easy, I can do that. And then, of course, a couple of days later, you go to do it and you kind of go, <laughs> yeah. oh, well, that wasn't how they did it on TV. That's right. A knife is a chef's most important tool then a fry pad. But every chef guards their knives mm. like a newborn baby. And this, when you get it in your kitchen, you're not gonna have to worry about anything other than picking up the one knife. You don't have to have any special technique. Yeah. You don't have to have any of this rocking action and rolling action and you just slice through like butter. Take the struggle, frustration out of cooking, guys. And I'm just looking at the way you handle the knife as well. The knife handle itself is nice. You know, it's a great it's, grip, it's, isn't it? It's, it's massive. It's good and it's good handling, guys. You're not going to worry about a, a small, flimsy knife that's going to slip in your hand as you're trying to cut through. You know, mm. it's it's ergonomic. It's got a special ergonomic design with it the, from it Japan. So it has. So what it is is it's 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 a pistol grip, but it's an easy grip. So it means that you hold it with your your hand and it's your hand and your the, the sharpness of this rather than your arm your elbow or your wrist it's straight yeah. through now something like this fresh beetroot is fibrous yep. it's quite coarse it's um it's really really difficult to slice and if you're not using the right knife you will have the the yeah. the juice the liquid which is a natural food stain it's going to be it everywhere it can be a messy it ordeal it can be a messy in the ordeal kitchen. and have a look at that i mean look at how fresh that is that is just look at that you're really just showing off now, <laughs> now you know with that knife it's just cutting through these things with absolute ease and i cannot emphasize that enough just you've got to get it home you've got to get it, give it a try you've got to get it home and have, yeah exactly have a try of it again live at openshop.com.au send us in your photos send us in your stories of how how it's changed your, your cooking. Your cooking your, experience, your because look, the first thing you do is you prep, right? So if you're yeah. starting up your stew, your soup, your casserole, whatever it is, chopping the veggies, whatever it is, even if it's just making a sandwich, cutting through that bread, cutting up the tomato, if yeah. you're doing it like you're cutting through butter, it's just gonna be a whole lot easier and a whole lot oh. more pleasant. Let me show you the sharpness. So just so you know that it wasn't me, you know, putting my elbow grease into yeah. it, this is how sharp it is. So we've set this up on this um, chopping board with a little, a little slot there, and and look at that. It's just cut through it without Slices me through. even using any pressure at all. Oh, wow. Okay? Slices straight through. Where have I got some more? Here we go. So we don't recommend you do this at home. <laughs> this is just a demonstration here that we're just okay. to show you how Red. sharp it is. So uh, yeah, but you, as you can see guys, that's just cutting through. You know, no, effect, through, no pressure. No pressure. So it's the sharpness of that blade yeah. that's doing it. I'm literally getting the shallot and sliding it up to that blade, and there we go. It's chopped through precision, sharpness. This yeah. is Molly Bendham Valadium steel, which is surgical. Medical, uh, quality. surgical quality. What yes. they use in scalpels in the surgery. Yeah. But we are talking about a grade that is thick enough, but yet it's got a little bit of flex. So when you are boning, whether it's chicken, whether yep. it's fish, fish, you've still got that little bit of flex which allows you to have that movement that you would normally have. Now, on the front of the, I'm just going to wipe this this here because I've got, it's, yeah. it's got a little bit of shallot on there. We've got those super fine teeth. Now that is really important because when a knife is this sharp, yeah. you need those little teeth to grip. So we are precision sharp surgical blade on the back and the same on the front but little teeny tiny teeth where's the where's the there we go little teeny tiny teeth so we are grabbing yeah, not now. slipping when it is things mm. like pumpkin skin yeah and and i just got a question for some people that might be at home right now the little indentations along the top here yeah. what are they useful that's Gabby? for extra grip so when you're doing super liquidy type things like tomatoes traditionally tomato knives normally have that and again that's a japanese thing ah. so japanese brought out knives with this year, probably roughly about 20 25 years ago it was a new technique so this has all of the best techniques and of course the best quality manufacturing now we're going to give you all a chance for you to get a viva giza in your home in your toolbox which is your kitchen drawer and here's the item number 300147 guys you're going to get the knife and the smart peeler and we're going to show you the smart peeler, smart peeler the triple yes. smart peeler 89 dollars the best price ever, because it's Black Friday. Black Friday, Black Friday deals and free 
uh, delivery as well. It's gonna get with them that as well, you know. guys. And you're gonna get that money back guarantee as well, that 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not happy with it, if it hasn't replaced your knife set at home, yeah. send it back. But we're gonna tell you right now that it's, it, you, it's gonna change it. the whole experience in the kitchen, the prepping side of it. You're gonna be looking forward to whipping up. You're gonna be looking at what, what can I chop now? What, what could I uh, uh, whip up now in the kitchen? If I've got a knife that I don't have to, you know, worry about uh, struggling with. So, so here's a chance for you to get to the phone, guys. Uh, 13 25 80 for that, oh, that price. Have 80, a couple. You know, Christmas gift. Triple. Think of your mum, think of your dad, think of somebody who really needs this help and we'll be back with you in a moment. Now it's your turn to experience the latest technology from Japan. There is no need for a block of seven different knives. The Giza knife has 800 years of history and the latest technology. The blade showcases a flat edge on one side of the blade with a saw-like blade on the other. This, coupled with the thick ergonomic handle, gives you a completely different experience to chopping, dicing and slicing in your kitchen. Using the new ergonomic handle for comfort, the Giza knife is perfect for those with a weaker wrist or arthritis. You may find using this so much easier as you no longer need to use your own strength to cut anything in the kitchen, including pumpkin, pineapple and your favourite meats. Using the Viva Giza knife, cooking is so enjoyable. You don't need a set of seven knives. The Viva is able to do everything that comes in a full knife block set with just the one blade. Slicing becomes a breeze. Look at the difference in the Viva new Giza knife compared to a traditional knife. Look at how the bread stays intact. Potato and root vegetables are chopped quicker and faster. Meat is sliced to perfection without tearing. Cutting and deboning a chicken is now done with ease. The knife also comes with the world's most advanced peeler, also made in Sanjo City in Japan. The three-in-one peeler enables you to cut three ways without changing a blade. You will enjoy the sharp and fast results, peeling with ease, creating ribbons, juliettes, and fine grating as well. The Giza knife and peeler are the finest quality. It will totally change the way you prepare your food forever. No need for multiple knives, the Giza replace a full knife block set. Enjoy the special price on Open Shop and we will deliver this to your kitchen with express free delivery and 10% off if it's your first purchase. If it's not the best knife you've ever used, send it back with our no questions asked 30-day money-back guarantee. The brand new Viva Giza knife and peeler. The future is now in your hands. And you saw all the different things that you can be doing with this one knife. We're talking about cutting through pineapple. Pineapple is kind of like a plant from the garden, right? Exactly right. As well as the, the pumpkin, you know, the, the avocado, the mango. And the seed. And the seed. And the seed. <laughs> Let's cut delicate things that normally you wouldn't need that super sharp precision. Or mm. maybe you do because... If you don't cut bread well, it tears, but it also flattens, right? Mm. Think about cutting a cake, a beautiful sponge cake. If you're dragging it, it's going to get it's, all wonky it, it, and lopsided. Some cakes just pull out, show away, and it's just going to make That's a exactly mess. right. So we're talking about precision slicing. So whether you Look are slicing that. up for, to make the garlic bread, whether you're slicing up the sandwiches, whether you're cutting up a bit of tea cake, whether you are just cutting through a beautiful <laughs> ciabatta, whether it's that really rustic Italian coarse bread or whether it's that really soft soft Turkish bread, yeah, yeah. it is this precision cutting that just sets this apart from every other knife that I've ever used before. So, Joan, why don't you give that a whirl? These are some little, little, um, little, like a little sausage roll. Little sausage roll. Yeah. Okay. So, just going through like How's that. How's that? How easy. Unbelievable. No way. You know, I'd be really looking forward to the, um, uh, in my household, I'd have like the, 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 the bread knife. And I'll yes. be looking for it, and it usually comes with those big teeth, um, teeth yeah. you know, and nothing like that, what we've got happening here on the Viva Giza knife right now, but it'll tear that mm. to shreds. Mm. It won't do what I need to do, what I'm doing right now, mm. what I'm doing with the, the Viva Giza knife. So I often ease. don't understand the, now since I've used the Viva Giza, mm -hmm. I don't understand the bread knife. Right? Yeah. Because the bread knife to me is damaging in a lot of ways. Uh, yeah, it creates yeah. a whole lot of crusty crumbs everywhere if it's a rustic Italian bread, where this just slices with precision. You know, and, and that's, that's testament <laughs> to the sharpness of this knife. Now, 
That's what what else it. can we do, hey? What else can we do? All right, okay, let's give this a go. <laughs> um, so we can be doing things like, I'll do a sandwich stack, we'll do the tomatoes. Sandwich mm. stack, ja as Jaron said, normally you'd grab the, the yeah, bread knife, the bread knife, right? for sure. Okay, you would never normally do this. Now this is uh, oh, four sandwiches, that. is that four sandwiches? That's four sandwiches. Have a look at that, straight look at that. through. The you know, cheese normally would stick to some knives, Jaron, right? Yeah, like, I mean, it'd not just stick to it as well, but when you're pressing down and squish, the bread. squish the bread, it would crease it, it and then it would right. be an absolute mess. So they'd flip out and yes. it'd be, you know, just a whole mess That's again. a really good point. That is a really good point. So what Jaron's referring to is with a normal knife, you need to put pressure and get it to work through in a manual way where this just mm. glides, it slices through like nothing Shape else down. you've ever used before. Now, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Is the telltale, right? Tomatoes oh, is where that. you need that precision sharpness to just slice through. Look at the cleanness. Yeah, of no, that no squishing action happening. Absolutely beautiful and super, super easy. And come on, you've got to be having that at least a couple of times in, oh. in summer. For sure. At least like, a couple of times a week a tomato sandwich. Yeah, tomatoes, you know, you have, have a bit of spaghetti. Absolutely. You know, but especially for the sandwiches, you know, you got to cut it up nice and thin. But just watching you now with the with the, uh, the, the tomatoes mushies. there and the mushies around, not even squishing them. You know, usually you'd get that squishing motion if you've got to use a bit of pressure pushing down onto the foods and you're squishing the food. So, it's, you know, you're really... Damaging in some cases. Damaging. And that's the thing. Look, if you were cutting fish and you have the wrong knife, you can actually bruise the meat. If you're cutting there strawberries you and you don't have a sharp enough knife, you can you can really damage. Now that's just, we, we'll just get rid of that knife there and we're going to use that, Jaron. Mm. Cutting through the most delicate things like mushrooms, mm. like herbs, like strawberries, ladies who decorate cakes like me, you are not going to damage or bruise a delicate, delicate piece of food. So we're talking mm. about the coarsest you know, most fibrous yeah. type of, uh, of cutting yeah. density uh, to the most soft, soft gentle, it, it's no, just Brad, unbelievable. You know, I can see some of the ladies down at the Lions Club, you know, when yeah. they're doing on their little the do's with the sandwiches, having raffles and drawers and you know, whatnot. You just slice, you know how they have the sandwiches Amazing. up there? You're making heaps, especially if you've got maybe like a church service or you're just putting a picnic together, you've got to do heaps of sandwiches for Amazing. that picnic. You're just slicing the sandwiches up with ease. Grace, it's Perfect. there, perfectly there, you know. Yeah, and you don't want to be, you know, I know sometimes I get a bit like, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to when I when I try and cook Are something you in, just? yeah. But um, just knowing that it's gonna, no, you know, it's, you know, it's not gonna ruin any food that you do cut. Do you reckon the Lions Club ladies would be impressed with that? I think they would. I think, I think they would. And this that. is the thing. If you want to make a little a little watermelon sandwich for the kids, mm. you can cut the shapes, the styles, the sight. Whether you want a little star, whether you want to make a little square, this is going to allow you to do that. This is a super uh, liquidy um, yeah. a fruit. fruit. And again, I can slice through it in the finest, thinnest possible way like butter. Can you believe, guys, just over $22, you're getting it at home for free on Afterpay, right? Free express delivery, meaning we're going to send it to you for free. You are going to pay $22.25. $22. You're not just getting the knife, you're getting the peeler as well. I reckon we should get to the peeler, Jaron. What do you reckon? We'll get to that in a minute. But well, yeah. look, it's this, it's this sort of thing where, look, you don't... Ease. It's not normally a struggle cutting through the flesh. Yeah. It's the struggle cutting yeah. through the skin, skin. right? Yeah. Now, with the skin here, have a look at this. It's just that, that easy. Again, the right knife can make a big difference in your kitchen world. Well, absolutely. I've just been told now from uh, Michael, a producer, that we oh, just yeah. got an email come through. I'm just going to okay. go grab the. Now, you read me the email while I cut through. through this Spanish melon. I didn't know what Spanish melon was until yesterday when I went to the fruit shop. I thought, that looks like it needs a tomahawk. That looks like it needs a, um, yes. a, a, a chainsaw to get through that. And in fact, a few people walked through the studio this morning and said, what's that game? Is that a giant avocado? <laughs> the Viva Giza has gotten through this with absolute Look ease now. We've all been tasting this Spanish melon because it is sensational. But again, I would possibly, I've never bought it because I've never had the right knife. I wouldn't have known. Most people have probably never had the right knife to be able to get through that skin. Well, that's right. Well, I'm gonna read through this email right now. Uh, it's got here, uh, hi, Gabby and Jaron. I brought hey. the Gabby, oh, sorry, I brought the Giza knife yeah. when it was first on the open shop when we paid $149. 
but I bet you they still love it for $149. Well, it, 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 let me, well that's, what it's, that's what she's saying. It's, it's the only knife I know I, I now use. From slicing oh. meatloaf to vegetables or fruit, it does even it does all even slicing. Excellent. The skin off the kiwi fruit. Ooh. I brought a second one this morning. Oh, oh good on you. Fantastic. Great price, great knife. Regards, Helen. Oh, Helen, that is brilliant. Now, listen, Helen, uh, she, she might be she might be feeling like she paid too much. I bet you she doesn't because she has used it $149. $149. It is worth it every day of the week. Chefs pay sometimes up to $500 for a single knife. Well, truly, single truly knife. and honestly. Well, it's your first most important piece of equipment in the kitchen. Well, that's right. And, you right. know, if, if it's going to replace the whole knife set, you know, you're not going to be looking for, oh, where, where's the bread knife? Or, or where's the, um, uh, uh, the vegetable knife? Or where, where's that serrated it's knife I need for the... It's just easy. Uh, well, she's, Helen's bought a second one because I reckon one might be in the dishwasher and she's going, I need that knife, I need, need the Viva Giza. Yeah. Helen's going to have two now. Now, looking through your um, cauliflower there, again, look, cauliflower's not that difficult, but it's the bottom bit, right, where it's mm. fibrous and it's all of that all of that extra stuff that just sliced through. Look at that. And clean cut, Jared. Look at the clean. cleanness of that, that, that slice. It, slice feel it. Through. It's super smooth. It's oh, seriously, smooth isn't it? Yes, yeah. I mean, you don't, look, in the real world, you don't normally do that, but we are just going, <laughs> incredible, absolutely yeah. incredible, the sharpness of this tool. Now, appliances are not all the same, and when it comes to a peeler, it's a manual appliance, right? Well, that's <laughs> it's, right. It's got a lot of work to do. Now, let's so, look at the three-in-one. So this is a smart peeler. And smart peeler. The same technology, Jaren, mm -hmm. the same stainless steel blade, and this is a melon, which has a super thick skin, right? I can hardly scratch through that with my nail. Um, but I'm going to get the regular, when I say regular peeler, look at that. Oh. Look at that. And it is, well, it's, it's like basically like, feel that thick, it's like ribbon. Yeah. It's a coarse, coarse skin. Absolutely precision peeling. And that's every one of those. Every single one of them is the same. So we are just getting through, whether it's this, whether it's something like a turnip, a parsnip, a super coarse. Um, then if you want to get into, say, if you wanted to, say, make some um, garnish out mm. of it, you've got these ribbons here. Have a look at this. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Isn't that cool? You know, throw that on a salad, a soup. You know, I, I, when I had a chance to take this home and I, I tried it myself, the, the smart peeler, yeah. and I, I was just, just to test it, you know, I just went, I wasn't like... You weren't world, cooking. World's, you were like, no, were you a skeptic, were you? I was a skeptic. I, I was like, this ah, couldn't be the most easiest way the to peel. I love skeptics. I, I had the carrot there and I was just going through like that. And I was talking to the missus at home. And before you know it, I was just cutting it down. I just looked at it Ooh. and the, 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 the carrot's already like half its size, just sliced straight Amazing. off. Just Amazing. Amazing. And that's the thing. Look, it might be that you just want a little bit of garnish or it may be that you are prepping everything for a whole soup stew or casserole. So let's just say you were garnishing, Jaron. What am I going to get to, to show off the garnish? I'll show that off in a minute. Um, maybe with uh, with the uh, the uh, this is um, cucumber, which you wouldn't cucumber. normally do. I'll get the zucchini. Here we go. Here we go. We've got a zucchini, right, so we can make the zoodle. So we've got the the peeling. You can see there. You can peel pumpkin. Then you've got a thick julienne, julienne, and a thin julienne. Yeah. So it could be salads, stews, soups, or garnish. So easy. So absolutely easy. You know, just watching him go through that pumpkin again. And you know, now, the, now the onion as well, slicing the onion is gets even easier. You get more uh, finer slices it's with that. It's super fine. And it's the same blade as the Viva Giza knife. So we're talking Lettuce. the same superior quality. You can be oh, shredding that cabbage with a little bit of um, homemade aioli in there. And all of a sudden, you've got coleslaw deluxe. And look, and look uh, a garlic. Got a clove as well. You need sometimes you need it super super fine. Okay, so fiddly little fine um, grating, peeling a tomato. It's something that I wouldn't do, but look, a lot of recipes do say mm. to remove the tomato skin. Yep. If you do not have this peeler, you're probably not going to do that recipe. Yeah. Um, now Helen just said doing the um, kiwi fruit. She, she, is that what she said in her email? Yeah, yes. Yeah, and look, she, that's a great thing because. When kiwi fruits aren't in season, you're probably going to get like three for two dollars. You do not want to be wasting the flesh by cutting away too much of that skin. Yeah. 
No, that's exactly right. Like, you know, and it's not just the kiwi fruit we're talking about, the kiwi fruit, we're going to something like the, the pumpkin. You know, I want to, I'm, I'm really huge on trying to remove the skin off pumpkins when I'm doing my stews, even uh, the sweet potatoes, just cutting those, getting the skin off that. You know, you don't even have to use the, you know, it's just and that it is, easy. And they're the zoodles. That's that's the what zoodles. we're talking about. The <laughs> zucchini noodles. The zoodles. Kitty. You haven't heard the zoodles before? Now you have. Okay. <laughs> Things like sweet potato can be an absolute oh, test to uh, peel. If you have this, you are going to be using it. Now, if you wanted to say, do um, some sweet potato chips, Jaren, this is pretty cool. Oh, okay, nice. so get these, get them sliced up like this, right? Slice them all up. Sorry, I've got a bit of a mess here because I'm showing. Slice them all up like this. Get your spray oil, a bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. Guess what you're going to do with them? Throw hey. them in the air fryer. Oh, the air fryer, sweet yes. Sweet potato chippies. They're like, you know, proper chip, like a bag of chips, right? Bag of chips, yeah. Spray oil, salt and pepper, guys. If you've got bit any chips, season and spice, you can. You can. Yeah. But all of a sudden, you're making things like it could be that you're slicing up the beetroot, some turnips, some sweet potato, and you're doing your own homemade chips. Eat them hot, eat them cold, have them as a garnish. That could be fabulous in a soup, and you wanted to just cut them up a little bit chunkier. You know when, mm. well, you you probably don't know, but when, you, when you're a mum and you've got babies, you have to go through these stages of, Everything's smooshed and mashed to a puree. Yeah. Then it's got to be a bit chunkier. Then it's got to be a bit coarser. And then it's got to get a bit, until children get their teeth and learn how to eat and all that sort of thing. So all yes. the mums out there and all the grandmas out there, you're going to get what I meant by that. Well, that's it. Because it, like, who I can see you really utilising this smart peel at home mm -hmm. is you know just about everyone at home. You know th those that are loving the, the the cooking in the kitchen. You know, yes. the festive season coming in. Like, so I know proper chefs, proper pro cooks, proper, proper chefs, but even to people that you know struggle with a bit. Of, you know, Absolutely. Using, using those conventional peelers, you Absolutely. know, you're to use a bit of force, you got to get the thumb, you know, happening on there to get that hand action happening. But, you know, it's that that bit of the pain there that you get in your hand, even in your wrist, you know, it's really, really, uh, it's a really struggling task. Now, Jaron, again, this is not something that I normally cook with, but when I was at the fruit store yesterday, they had these plantation bananas and I thought, well, what Oi. on earth, <laughs> what on earth am I gonna do with the plantation banana? Now, when I came in here, I was told by our um, Colombian um, mate, mate. Jesus. 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 And Jesus said, oh, Gab. He said, Gab, these are the plantation bananas. And I can't remember the name that he that he said, the, the dish that they make with it in Colombia. Yeah. He said, we make five famous dishes with this. And I said, well, that's why they're sold in Australia then, because I was thinking, why are these so super ripe? Well. But the point is, normally you would think you would need an ax. Well, yeah. You would need a saw. A saw. You would need Especially something for. to get through something like that now. We've got 10 minutes left of the show, guys, and it's time to make a move. It is time to get yourself a Viva Giza. Now, you've got 30 days to give it a go. If it's not the best knife you've ever used, send it back. Send it's it back. a love it or return it guarantee. We are moving through stock really, really fr fast because fast. this is Black Friday. Black Friday sales, guys. $89. You also got Afterpay on that as well. So all you need to do is jump on that phone, 132580, all the website. Give it a go. Give it a go. And, you know, again, that 30-day money-back guarantee, if it doesn't, replace that mm. knife set that you got at home. If, if, it, if it doesn't replace that favorite knife that you yeah, secretly go to, to, to go through, through, through everything. All right, send if it back. If it's not your new favorite, send it send back, back, guys. 13, 25, 80, free express delivery. All right, guys, now what's next what, is, yours, what um, are we doing I'm next? gonna go to this um, pastries and cakes, mm. Jared. Now, pastries and cakes, we were talking about them before, but when you've got that fluffy bounce and uh, of say a sponge cake, or this one here actually has some custard in it. Oh, it's nice. You don't want to damage that, right? This is when you might be sitting down to have a cup of tea and have a moment. Yeah. You do not want to be uh, tearing yeah. or damaging. Look at that. Have a look at that. Oh, and there's custard that. inside there that has just sliced oh. through beautifully. Brioche bread, or it could be a croissant, or it could be your panettone Christmas cake. Do you know the panettone Christmas cake? Uh, Do you know that one? I'm pretty sure I've come across I'm pretty it's sure I've eaten Italian that before. Christmas cake. It kind of <laughs> looks like a huge big one of these. And it's, it's, it's literally sweet brioche bread. And it's a very traditional Italian thing to give uh. a panettone at Christmas and also one at Easter time. But they're different. 
12. You can't keep the Christmas one and give it at Easter. They box them up differently. <laughs> yeah, well, so, that's right. <laughs> well, but, uh, what, what I can see with this definitely with my family is that we've got so many, I've got so many nieces and nephews, you know, and when you get a nice good cake that comes out and everyone's oh, yeah. rushing to the table, oh, you know, yeah. there's, there's not just one or two of them there. There's like, a you know, there's a good little tribe happening there yeah. at the table. So you want to be able to slice nice thin slices up that's with ease. True. And you can't that's usually true. do that with a conventional knife. Are right? you one of those people, Jaren? Are you one of those that just says, just give me a little teeny tiny slither? Are you one of those? Yeah, yeah. You're I'm, one of you know, those? Watch, just watching the, uh, the I waistline. Like, I like just... sitting next to those people when cake's <laughs> being served up because I know that I'm going to get, I know that I'm going to get their serve yeah. and mine. But you know what? Are you one of those people that just has a tiny little sliver and then comes back and has another tiny little sliver? Yeah. And it, another one? Just go the whole piece to begin well, with. Well, that's Save true. yourself the effort, Jaren. You'll learn. Yeah, I'll get Stick there. Stick in the kitchen with me long enough, you'll learn. <laughs> Make sure I bring the jogger shoes when I go back up home for a nice big run. We'll have to. Well, that's the trick. That's the trick. Okay. So what's the next? So, okay, so we'll go back to the peeler again because I just want yep. to show you how fabulous this is. So slicing with absolute oh. ease. Have a look at this ribbon slicing. It is the sharpness of that molybdenum valladium steel. Look Ladies and gents, that. we're talking about precision slicing, precision cutting every single time. This is Japanese quality. This is ribbon fineness, but yet it's not dragging or torn anywhere where it might fall apart, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's all consistent all yeah, the way through. Yeah. And you know, you're gonna get that with every slice that you yeah. get. With the Smart Peeler, guys, it's you're not gonna be looking back. You know, 30-day 30, 30 money back guarantee, you're not gonna be um, sending this back for sure. Look, if you want to send it back, no questions asked. It's yeah. a love it or send it back guarantee, but I reckon you'll be like you'll be like Helen. My prediction is you'll be like Helen and you'll be going, okay. I now need a second one, or I'm going to gift one to send to a loved gift. one. Perfect yeah, gift, guys. Perfect, perfect gift. Now, when you have to cut things in tricky little shapes and things that you see in recipe books, yeah. you know when you see chefs and they've got the things on an angle. You know when they cut things on an angle, and you sort of think, "Well, oh, gosh, yeah. this is leak." If you do not cut leak properly, it is absolutely torn to shreds <laughs> because it is so fibrous. What about? I've just been told I'm leaking. <laughs> Oh, what yeah, about, yeah. oh hey, he's Zach. Just, Zach just coming on the house. Help. Just helping okay, himself. So Go we're for it. We're talking about. <laughs> Go so for it could it. be that you want to cut it that way. It could be that you want to cut it, say, this way, Jaren. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is the technology. This is the mm. Japanese quality, the Japanese heritage. There are over 800 years of sword technology sword and technology, knife history yep. going into this. We're talking Japanese made. Okay, this is a knife that really will save you a hell of a lot of heartache, replace, I'm guessing, all of your knives in, in the kitchen, make preparation and cooking a really enjoyable process. Now, mm. what about this one here, Jaren? Oh, jeez. Do you know, hey. actually know what that is? <laughs> No, I don't actually. Okay. What, what is this? Okay, this is called Celerac. Celerac. So see how it looks like it's had celery there? See how that? See oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the, the bulbous root. This looks like a pain to cut through. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> sort of. This is, like seriously, one of the most fibrous things that you will ever cut it's through. Bad. It is just an absolute breeze. What about this one? Do you know what this one is? No. A sweet. A sweet. sweet. Yeah. See, these... It's not from the Nordic region. It's Nordic... from <laughs> Nordic region. It's not from the Nordic region. It's just probably straight out of the ground somewhere like in South Australia or in Victoria somewhere. It's a root vegetable which is awesome in soups, but really tricky to cut. But because no it's so problem. fibrous. But no, no problem, problem for the VB Giza knife. Of course, at all. no problem. Just through that with ease. Absolutely. Know? Now, I'm gonna go back to a couple of things because these are the wow factor. Yeah. These are the yeah, things are where awesome. you kind of go, well, you're probably not going to cut straight through the husk, unless, of course, you're barbecuing it. Because well, you know you can barbecue your, your corn with the yeah, husk on? we do that at home. Yeah? yeah? What happens if people rock up and you think, oh my gosh, I've only got four corns and there's now all of a sudden eight people? Well, it's Here a bit we go. of, yeah. There that, we go. That, that usually happens at home as well. There people we just go. Rock up looking for a feed and Before then. Four becomes eight. <laughs> so there it is. Four becomes you gotta, eight. You've got to make sure that there's enough for the go around. There you go. And what happens if you get a couple more or the kids just go, no, I just want a little bit? Exactly. There we go. Oh, Throw yes. them on the barbie, ladies and gents. The husk and all. We are talking about cutting through corn. We are talking about cutting through whole avocado. We're talking about cutting through wow. whole uh, seed and all. Seed and all. Um, Mango. That's just... It, it's blown you away, hasn't it's, it? It's That's blown you away. how easy that was, especially with corn, because, like, you know, usually it's such a hassle trying to get it... It's hard to even it. cut through it without the husk. I know. 
And you did it with the husk and all. Yeah. And not even cooked, it was just and straight look, through. I'm, I'm gonna say, and I'm just gonna say this just because it's fact, and I'm a lady. I don't have the strength of a man, right? Now, it, 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 look, there might be a whole lot of ladies out there that are a whole lot stronger than me, but I'm just saying that unless this knife was as sharp as it is, I, there's no way I could cut through that corn. I would need to put my elbow grease into it. So if you suffer from arthritis, yes. a weak wrist, if you are struggling in general, just strength-wise, this is the perfect knife for you because you don't have perfect. to use your elbow grease. You don't have to use a rocking motion, a sawing motion. Watch this, it's gonna happen fast. Whole avocado, really firm, really ripe. This is not soft or smooshy, it's, it's, it's firm avocado. Mm -hmm. Okay. Straight through, Straight seed through. and all. Seed and all. We are talking precision of a surgical steel blade with the history of that Japanese uh, pride and the technology of, well, the brand. The, the brand. brand has been around for a long, long time. I'm going to go straight through this mango seed and all. Absolutely incredible. So that when we look it. at the sandwich stacks, Sharon, okay, yep, we'll go yep. back to the analogy. <laughs> right at your house? Yep. Another whole bunch of people have turned up. It's Christmas holidays. Christmas holidays, you oh know. Usually, gosh. that's 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 usually the story in Innisfail. But family, you know, it's just everyone's rock up. Just rocks up at Dad's house. No there. invitation needed. Just, just ding dong. Just knocking on the door. Here we are. Hey, where are you, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> hey, just come in and. There you go. You know, you get family. A, family's there. Family's there. Doors always open. Doors always open. But you that's might a... you might not have made enough sambos, Jaron. Right? Mm. So this is what's going to happen. You're going to be like, okay, kids, you're on, you're on rations today. But here we go. We'll just turn <laughs> that sandwich for the littlies into another. Oh, am I going to split this up properly? Oh, I just wanted to show you the precision of that cut. Is I think I think people at home are going to really understand the, the, what's happening here is because if you Stop cut spoiling. that with the with a normal knife, you tear the bread. You tear the bread. You'd squish the bread. You know, it's always that problem when you're trying to make so many sets of sandwiches. You know, I've, I, I used to do that all the time with um, when I was going to high school. You know, just trying to make sure I had enough lunch. So stack I get up the lunch stack, box. Stack, stack the sandwiches up on top or the bread on top, and then try and cut it, and it'd always sink, and you'd always get that that curved motion. But you know, when you get those, you're just seeing that now. You don't even see that you don't you've seen that cut straight through the bread just like that and there's no squishing no pushing down no, no pressure no... and that's the point Sharon that is absolutely that mm. is exactly what we're talking about we are talking about no pressure using the absolute cutting precision oh. now let's do the rock the melon rock melon because it is that time of year, whether it's the honeydew, whether it's the oh, rock yes. melon, Christmas. it's hard to, oh my gosh, oh, that is crazy. That. You've got to Easy. give that a go. You've got to give that a go. That is crazy town. You know, I could, crazy. I could definitely see this happening over at Dad's house now, uh, just with the family coming around, just trying to do platters, you know, just for family gatherings, even, you know, New Year's Eve's coming up. You know, you're doing Seriously. all these little pool foods. How fantastic Easy. is that? So if you are thinking about making food prep easier, buying something that is quality, enjoying, chopping in the kitchen rather than thinking about what a chore then you need to get yourself a Viva Giza and of course you're getting the smart peeler with it a $180 value today here at Open Shop because it's Black Friday you are getting that for $89 free express delivery guys grab Jump on one that deal, guys. grab one make your cooking easier See enjoy you